Okay. Are you ready, Ben? I'm trying to find similar sayings like how the cookie crumbles. Stop. We need to record. This is the biggest box I've ever bought from G Fuel. In here is uh, four tubs plus a free shaker cup. I ordered this two or so weeks ago. Actually, probably like three weeks ago now. And I have been waiting uh, this entire time to open it because Royal Mail would not deliver Ben's. So I've, so I've been waiting for Ben's to arrive this whole time. Uh, alas, it's, it's finally here and I'm finally going to open this. Uh, alongside Ben, I do believe he's got one flavor that is the same as mine. I've got, I've got two. So he's got two flavors that are the same as mine. I forgot that one was uh, is the sour version of something. But you'll find out. So that's the pretty much the backstory. Uh, I've been waiting for a, for a bogo for a while, so I figured I'd buy four. I think my address is still kind of visible. Do you want me to fine. take a picture of mine so you can show yeah, the screen? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll blur it. I'll censor it using your address. <laughs> oh, what is that? I've got a sticker. Ben, get destroyed. I've got a sticker. I got a cocaine sticker. So, oh so do, is it the snow one? Oh my god. Let's go. Cocaine. This is my family cocaine. Oh my so, here we go. This is like super strange to see it packaged all like this. I was wondering how on earth they were managed they were going to manage to fit four tubs in a cup in here. But I guess they've managed to do it. We'll start off uh with the flavors uh, that I've already had. So, here we go. This is a uh, Naruto's Sage Mode. If you've watched the Kiwi Mango video, I did say that I, I reviewed this. However, that video never came out because the ed my my editing software Premiere Pro it just didn't it, just, it doesn't like me. I don't know why. But it's a good flavor. I ranked it an A. I I I, I just really really wanted another tub. Uh, I I went through my first one way too quick. But we're gonna put that aside for now. That isn't one we're trying. Second one uh, is Green Sour PewDiePie. I have heard that this is awfully similar. To uh, original PewDiePie, and even but even if that even if that's the case, it's uh it's just a good opportunity to get a reskin. It's got a label down here saying natural natural and artificial flavors. That doesn't appear on any of the other tubs, it, but looking at uh the site, it seems to only appear on sour sour tubs. Wait, I can I can fact check this because I have another uh, sour one. You're wrong. It says dietary supplement. That's all it says. It doesn't say anything on the bottom. Absolutely mad. Now, anyway, uh, I know, I know the what's it called? It's called the it's the Queen of Hearts flavor, the, the like the, the the sour berry that has the same label. And I checked with maybe one other sour flavor, and that had it and it had it too. So maybe it's just it's a new thing that they've got to do. So the third flavor, which is the second one that both Ben and I have, is Doodleberry, which is a uh, I do believe a black on blackberry reskin in this really, really cool, almost whiteboard drawing art style. This is gonna be a sick tub to add to the collection, but I tried Black on Blackberry in the old formula like three and a half years ago, and I remember liking it. I certainly don't know if it it will taste the same. Why is the odd, I just, I see the odd ones. Why is the odd ones out there? Look, why is, why is he next to the secret S? So, so yeah, um, this flavor is gonna be the one that I'll possibly review in a future video just to see whether the flavor holds up three and a half years later, you know? Adding that to the the pyramid on the left. Uh, the final and fourth flavor is watermelon limeade. Now, this is a flavor I've had my eyes on for a little bit. Uh, I only recently found out that it originally released as a can, which unfortunately are US exclusive, but I don't like carbonated beverages anyway, so I, I was never going to buy one. But yeah, the flavor just intrigued me. Apparently, at some point, there was a watermelon lemonade flavor, but that must have been limited stock or something because when I found that out, I couldn't find it on the site. This is going to be the one I, I, I plan on trying today. I've heard it's more, more sort of artificial flavor, I guess, like more candy-esque. In the description, it did say uh, candy sweet watermelon. Uh, the supplement facts, everything, I think the new formula, literally everything's the same in these, in the, in these ones now. Um, I guess, I guess I can show it on screen if people are still, like, concerned. I don't know. If it wants to focus up, that'd be nice, but yeah. Here we go. Those are the the facts, they're, they're all there. You can pause the video and give it a read. Another reason why I got this, watermelon mint. That flavor was originally dub melon mint. I, I I wanted that two and a half years ago now. I was waiting for a BOGO so I could get more flavors, ooh, more flavors at once. And instead of doing what you would expect a manufacturer to do and try and get rid of their stock with a with a sale, um, they decided they'll, they'd remove it off the site, despite the fact that literally the day prior it was up there and ready and, and 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 ready to buy. So I was really frustrated about that. And then two and a half years later, which now would have been like a month or so ago, they re-released it under watermelon mint. 
because I, I believe I believe Dub Melon Mint was inspired by uh, an old Fortnite guy. But yeah, I was really up f uh, frustrated about that because I didn't have any money when that came out, and then they got rid of it after the after the Bogo. <laughs> it sold out, and they never brought it, they never brought it back. So yeah, I've got I've got my uh, I've got some issues with G Fuel at the moment. I'm a bit annoyed with them about that. There is one thing left to show off, and that's the uh, new cup that came with the Bogo. What on earth is going on in there? I've got like a band. Wait, what is that? Oh, does that go around? That goes around. That's weird. I was really confused. I was like, what on earth is in my cup? There's like some sort of rubber band that either goes around. I think it goes around the top of the top of the cup. It's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, clean cup. I think I, I imagine what they've done. They've got on this green and white cup. They've, they've had some in stock and they've just, they've made these little rubber bands to go around it to, you know, celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I, I won't be using this today as, as I was hoping it would be clear, but it's, it's not, unfortunately. But yeah, that's, it's pretty nice. You get it, you get it for like spending over 70 dollars or something like that. I, I'm not too sure. We're going to chuck the rest of this aside. I do not believe there is another sticker in here. It would be cool if you got like a sticker for every single type you bought, but hey, that's, that's not going to happen. Anyway, let's move. I'm going to move some of this aside so it's so it's in frame, so it adds to the set a little bit. Uh, move that this little Discord. What? <laughs> I, have to, I have to import a screenshot. Bringing this in, uh, this is the classic PewDiePie tub. Uh, still, still not. I've still not got a single. Uh, I said tub, but it's a cup. I've still not got a single cup any clearer than this. So, yet again, it's going to be featured in the thumbnail. Now we're going to find out just how well this one cuts. Usually, I go from this seam here. If I can get a close up of that, I usually go from this seam right here with my nail and just work my way around and it usually comes out pretty well as long as you don't put too much force behind it you really just got to you've just got to slowly work your way around anyway so let's uh try and see if i can pierce it around here there we go i've managed to get it uh so as you can see i don't know if that's showing up on camera but i've pierced it there and you've kind of just yeah you've really just got to slowly work your way around like i'm putting no force behind this just so you know uh oh i've got it that was look at that that is a that is a clean clean cut clean break of the seal as i like to say let's see if this one does the same thing as men's blood let's see if it's got some trapped gas and that is completely vacuum sealed look at that that is a that is a divot right there uh is that that's not okay i thought i thought that was i thought the seal had already been broken i was about to complain then right let's uh give it a first open let's see let's find out what color is the, the powder that seem that seems to just just be white um, to the eye, it looks a bit more orange, but that could just be the white balance on the camera is a bit funny. So let's grab this. It's been a while since I've opened a new tub, man. Uh, feels feels good to finally have some flavors. How far was your scoop off this time? Right at the top. That's the question. Okay, minus two. <laughs> let's go. Okay. Uh, that's one thing you have to always check. Yep, yeah, yeah. You always gotta you always gotta confirm. Um, I'm gonna peel off the funnel because I. I I don't use bottles, which means I have no I need for it. Mine. Um, let's go with one level scoop for now. There are some, there are some flavors. Oh, that 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 fresh tub feel. It just, it's it's so fine. It's like it's like flour. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Smell test, smell test. That smells. Oh, that smells. That smells freaking good. That smells very, yeah, very very watermelony. I didn't expect to get much of a smell with this, but I guess I was wrong. It definitely smells. Uh, as the description said, more uh, artificial watermelon, almost like it's in a, a, a sweet, almost like toxic waste sort of thing. But the lime could make up for that and make it a really like decent flavour. So, are you ready to add the scoop to the water, Ben? I'm ready. I'm ready. Bam! It's not coming out. Okay, Imme immediately getting some green there, which uh, I imagine was expected. So let's chuck the lid on that. Chuck the lid on the tub as well. Uh, I should probably not be talking faster than I'm acting. So, so we'll chuck that at the back. We'll make sure that is at uh, the front. It's got, okay, that's quite the neon green sort of sort of look so far. Well, I'm gonna shake, I'm gonna shake this up and we'll, 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 we'll continue the taste test. Sped up podcast. Session. Random, random, random podcast sesh. Oh. So, how have you been, DX Blue? You've the news, you the news lately. I've had my rush. The news lately, yes. The, 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 that plane that flew into the two towers. Nicola Sturgeon of the Scottish Parliament. Oh, Nicola Sturgeon, that, that one. Oh, yes, she stepped down from Parliament. Did you hear about Zara, Alina's aunt, calls for action to be taken on criminals involving avoiding court for the sentencing? Isn't Zaria from Overwatch? Oh, my God. 
Right, after some uh, very, very pleasant and sophisticated chat, the, the drink is done. It's not really a neon green. I do believe that the, was it green apple flavor? from a couple years ago was way more green than this. It's not quite showing up as much on camera. How foamy is it? Uh, foaminess, foaminess, phone check. Pretty foamy, although I do feel like the new formula has been fairly foamy in recent, recent like years. But yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, it's fairly foamy. I, I keep calling it a new formula. But I'm pretty sure it, I'm pretty sure this formula has been around now for like two years. Now we're gonna get into the smell test after mixing quickly. So let's open it up and have a just that first waft, you know. Not getting much. Uh, let's go a bit closer. Ooh, okay. After mixing, there is a lot more citrus. Uh, I will say that. Um, in the powdered powdered form, you get a lot of that candy sweet watermelon, as they say in the description. However, after mixing, you, it's less of the watermelon, more of the citrus. That is what I'm finding right now. I'm quite excited for this. All right, let's give it the the um the, I don't even know the swish. Let's just give it the, let's just give it the the, the promised Walk. swish, and and, and then the swig right afterwards. Cheers, lads. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Wait. Trying to trying trying to gauge whether I like it. Wait. Secondary secondary swig. Hmm. What do you like wine testers? <laughs> oh yeah, dude, take a sip, spit it back into the cup. Yep. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna set before 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 we get off track. The citrus is very very light. I will say the lime you can definitely taste it. It's definitely that it's but it's more of an aftertaste, whereas the watermelon kind of hits you first. Not as sweet as I was expecting, but definitely uh, quite artificial. I've not had too many melon flavors. I think the actual only melon flavor I had was Maiden's Blood. If you've watched these videos, you know that is my favorite. That is my favorite G flavor of all time. They're definitely more artificial than Maiden's Blood was. One second, let me just have another sip. Really trying, I'm, I'm really trying to gauge the sweetness level and also how much I like it. So, what flavors have I tried that are similar to this? I do know bubblegum, bubblegum is like the most artificial flavor I've had re in like, well, I say recent, but that would have been like, like two years ago now. It's not bad, definitely not bad, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it that high up. I would probably put it on level with Kiwi Mango. So far, so far, you do, you do, you do tend to warm up to flavors. The, the trouble with, 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 trying something new is you really have to try it for a little bit to understand where it sits on your uh yeah your your, your, own, your own personal list on level on, it's definitely not definitely not not sage mode tier kiwi strawberry is is definitely an s tier yuzu i'd say is an a tier kiwi mango is definitely b pewdiepie is an obvious pewdiepie is an obvious SS. f no, i mean yeah yeah ss sorry no no no, no shh, it's just nothing nothing Type sauce? Hype sauce. Uh, see, I think I, I honestly hype think hype sauce. I th I honestly think hype sauce is really overrated. Like yeah, for for the longest time, it was like the top rated flavor. I don't know why. So this is good. We got we got the two boys just kind shiny of splash. shiny splash. Oh, shiny splash is really good. S. S, yeah, I'd say S. It's it it's it's an odd one. It definitely is. It definitely is odd. It's hard to actually pinpoint it. I've not tried too many artificial ones that's the issue I've, I've, I've kind of i've kind of tried to distance myself from the ones that are artificial don't know if it don't know if it's one i could have day after day i think that artificial that artificial taste uh would get to me eventually maybe i'll start doing community posts and just and just like say my my rating a week a week after the video comes out but yeah i'm gonna stick with that rating i've said that about 500 times what else is there to say other than yeah thank you for watching ben is there any closing words closing statement drugs Drugs are pretty good. I will, I will agree with that. Drugs. Yeah, happy birthday. Shut up. Oh yeah, can we get a happy birthday in the comments? I managed to finally have birthday fuel. I don't know if I'll do an alcohol review in the future, but thanks guys. Drugs are good. Enjoy them whilst you can. You're going to die soon. Bye. Yippee. Yippee.